In this video, we are going to see how to upload files to Dropbox from email. So every time I receive an email and let's say there are certain links, the URLs are there. And what I want is, I want to extract those URLs and then finally upload them in a specific folder in my Dropbox. How can that be done? For this, I'll have to integrate my email and Dropbox and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here, I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is email parser that helps in forwarding all the emails that I receive on my mail account to a particular email address. And then we are going to use Dropbox. Now I'm going to integrate them using Pabli Connect. The trigger application will be email parser feature and my action application will be Dropbox. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And here we have reached the landing page. Now on the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up. So since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now here we have reached all applications page and these are the various products of Pabli. So we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. So we have reached the dashboard. Now on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow so let's click on this and this dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow so here my objective is that every time i receive this mp4 file from email then automatically that file should be uploaded in a specified folder of my dropbox so i'm going to click on create and as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events one here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of my trigger application. So what is my objective here? So let's say this is my Dropbox and here I have got a certain files. So let's say I'm going to share this file and here I'm going to share this file to this particular email address. Now let's click on share file. So here we can see the file has been shared. Now I'm going to take you to the email address of the person. And here I'm going to quickly refresh the page. So you can see that I have received a file. Now my objective is that every time I receive a file like this on my email, then first the file name should be checked. And if it is the specific file that we are looking for, then this should be stored in a specific folder of my Dropbox. Now, how can we do that? For this, we are going to use a feature by Pabli, which is email parser. Let's click on this. Now, what does it do? So email parsers basically extracts data from the incoming email sent to the mentioned email address. All data like email name, subject and the body of the email, etc. is extracted from the email automatically. Now I'm going to take you to the email account of the person. And here I'm going to go to settings. Let's go to see all settings and here we are going to go to forwarding and pop slash imap now here i'm going to quickly remove the already existing forward address and now i'm going to click on add a forwarding address so here let's go to public connect this here is the forward address given i'm going to copy this and now i'm going to paste the same here let's click on next so here we can see that it is saying forwarding mail to this particular address and I'm going to click on proceed here. So here it is now saying that a confirmation code has been sent to this particular address to verify permission. For this, let's go to public connect and yes, here we have received the response. Now we have to go here body text and as I open this, here is the confirmation code. I'm going to copy this, go back to the email account. Here I'm going to paste this and verify so yes here we can see that this particular address has been verified and now i'm going to select forward a copy of incoming mail to this particular address let's click on save changes so here we can see that the changes have been made now i'm going to click on recapture email password response let's click on yes now it is saying that here send an email to the email address mentioned above so that we can capture all the details from the email content automatically so i'm going to take you back to dropbox and here this time i'm going to send this particular file so let's enter the email address now i'm going to click on share file 
so yes here the file has been shared so let's go to pably connect now since all the mails have been forwarded to this particular address so i should receive the api response here this may take a few seconds so please wait patiently and now here you can see that we have received the api response so this here is the display now let me show you so as i take you down so it has been forwarded to this particular email address delivered to this now again as i take you down so here we have received the response so this here is the body text so we have received the entire information here now this particular file that we have just forwarded has this mp4 file extension now if i take you to the subject also so here you can see that we have this mp4 file there in the extension now our objective is now my objective is that all these files should be added to the specific folder in my dropbox only when they are mp4 files so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to use a filter this is again a feature by pably and here what is the label that i'm going to select so i'm going to go to step one and here i'm going to go to the subject so if this subject contains dot mp4 so i'm going to copy this and here i'm going to paste this now let's click on save and send test request so as we do that here you can see that the status is shown as a success the message is condition is true why because yes our subject has this file extension now if this file extension is there then we should be able to upload it in dropbox but before that my objective is that here i have to extract the file so i'm going to use a feature by pably which is text formatter so here let's look for text formatter and the action event here would be text basic formatting let's click on connect now here we have to enter the string so i'm going to click on this and we have the first step so let's go to the first step and here i'm going to look for body html so let's click on this so this here is the extension from this we have to extract the file url so here i'm going to use extract url let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received our result this is our result zero then here we have result one so we have to find the file extension in result eight we have our link so we can see that result eight here we have got the link so basically what we have done here from this we have extracted the link and now from this link i have to extract the file name and here the file name is this to extract this file name i'm going to use a feature by pably which is again text formatter so let's find text formatter here it is and now the action event here would be to split text let's click on connect so as we do that here we have to enter the split here we have to enter the text to split so i'm going to click on this go to step three and here we have to go to result eight so this here is the text to split and what is the it that i want i want only this information so i'm going to use slash as my separator so here i'm going to enter slash now what is the segment that i want so here i'm going to write the last segment let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received the response so you can see that i have received the last segment now i'm again going to use the same feature and i'm going to use question mark as my separator so here i'm going to add another action step i'm going to again go for text formatter let's click on this the action event here would be to again split text let's click on connect and here i'm going to go to step four this here is the text to split what is the separator question mark and which segment do i want the first segment let's click on save and send test request and as i do that here you can see that we have received the name of the file now once this is received i'm going to add another action step and this is going to be the final action step here and my application will be dropbox let's click on this and the action event here would be to upload a file let's click on connect so here pably connect is asking to connect itself with a dropbox account so i'm going to click on add new connection and connect with dropbox so as i do that here you can see that the connection is all set now here we have to enter the file url so i'm going to click on this go to step three and this here is the file url now what is the file name for this i'm going to go to step five 
and this here is the file name now what is the folder path so let me take you to dropbox here i already have created a folder the name here is email attachments now within email attachments i have got mp4 files and here i want these files to be uploaded so this is going to be my folder path so i'm going to copy this and paste the same here so once done let's click on save and send test request and as we do that here we have received the response let's go to dropbox and yes you can see that this particular file is here this is an mp4 file so this means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you back to my dropbox so let's go back to data storage and here this time i want to upload this particular file so i'm going to first of all share this to the same email address now let's click on share file so here the file has been shared and the moment this file has been shared what should happen automatically since this is an mp4 file it should be shared in that mp4 files folder let's go to mp4 files and now here i'm going to quickly refresh this and here you can see that the same file has been uploaded let's check the file here and yes we can see that the file has been uploaded here successfully which means that our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to pably connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was a feature by pably which was email parser and then our first action application was another feature by pably which was filter so that this workflow can continue only when we have received mp4 files then we had used text formatter by pably to extract the url and then again we had used the same feature to split the text so that we can receive the name and final action application was dropbox where we had to upload the file i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt then you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.